Hi and welcome everyone to this lesson. In this lesson, we will talk about the trip curves inside the circuit breakers, or to be more specific, the miniature circuit breaker. So, if you look at any circuit breaker, any miniature circuit breaker, you will find something which is really interesting. If you look at here, you will find here this symbol C10. Okay, C10. And if you look at another one, you will find, for example, Z2. Other types of circuit breakers, you will find P, letter P. Others, you will find letter D. Others, you will find letter K, and so on. So what does these letters mean inside the miniature circuit breaker? This is what we are going to discuss in this lesson. So let's start by learning about the miniature circuit breaker curves or the trip curves inside a circuit breaker. So you'll find that this concept came from the IEC wallet. So the IEC standard put these curves for the different types of breakers. You will find that there is an alphabetic code to categorize the miniature circuit breakers. We can have B, C, D, K, and Z, which are coming from the IEC, IEC standards. So the trip curves are defined by the IEC standards. These standards, if you would like to read more about them, the, these curves, or B, C, D, K, and Z, representing curves with a two trip function. So what I mean by this, so the miniature circuit breaker, miniature circuit breaker, is used in two functions. Number one, protection against overload. Okay, overload condition. And also the miniature circuit breaker is used to protect against short circuit. So these two curves or these two functions are defined by two mechanism inside the miniature circuit breaker. So we have two mechanism, a thermal mechanism and electromagnetic mechanism. So the thermal mechanism is associated with the overload condition and the electromagnetic mechanism is associated with the short circuit conditions. Okay, so if you look at any trip curve, you can see here the trip curve for any type of circuit breakers. So as you can see here, this representing the or Y axis representing the tripping time. Time required to trip our electric circuit by the circuit breaker. Tripping time. On the X axis, we will have IN, which is the multiplier of the current. So IN means How much is our current with respect to the overload current? For example, if I n equal 2, it means that our current is 2 times the rated current. If I n, for example, 3, it means that our current is 3 times the rated current. So as you can see here, as the current increase, the circuit breaker time or the tripping time by the circuit breaker should decrease with time. For example, if this time, let's say here, is, for example, uh, 10 minutes, okay, at, for example, a current of 1.1, so our circuit breaker, if the current starts to increase, let's say to two times the rated current, so the tripping time will decrease. Let's say, for example, it will become one minute, okay? So the function of this curve, this is a thermal tripping curve. Its function is that it will provide tripping time depending on the value of current, of, of the value of the overloading current. Okay. There is also another part. You can see here the electromagnetic part. In this part, you will find that the tripping time is very, very small, almost instantaneous time. For example, this will occur between three to five times the rated current. So for example, if the circuit current reached four times or three times or five times the rated current, the circuit breaker or the miniature circuit breaker will instantaneously uh, trip the circuit.
okay so we have the first part which is the overloading part which is slow response this means it is response to overloads it's made of bi metallic strip which will lead to tripping of the electric circuit after a long time so this response of the thermal trip unit is slow so for example if there is an overloading of let's say for example a 20 percent overloading it will take for example two minutes to trip okay so it response to its response to the overloading is slow response or takes a long time so the thermal section is similar across all trip curves so b c d k all of these curves have the same thermal tripping uh, curve as we will see in the next slide the second part which is this part which is a short circuit uh, part this depends on the magnetic coil or solenoid that opens if the overcurrent design limit is reached so for example if it reaches between three to five times it will start to operate instantaneously using this trip uh, coil and of course this response of the breaker will be in millisecond so as you can see for example in the overloading slow using the thermal part which will take for example several minutes however in short circuit condition its response will be very fast in milliseconds how it does do this using the electromagnetic mechanism so as you can see here a comparison between three types of curves p c and d so you can understand what is the difference between them so as you can see this curve here this part you can see this part is associated with what with overloading condition or the thermal part so as you can see here this is the rated current one i n it means the rated current okay so as you can see the rated current if you go upward it will never trip however if the current starts to increase let's say reaching 1.5 okay as an example 1.5 if we look at here if we go upwards like this you will find it will take this amount of time to trip let's say for example here 80 seconds okay as an example 80 seconds so for example if the current reaches 50 percent or we have an overloading of 50 percent the time taken will be 80 seconds okay from here to here okay there is a range design range okay according to the circuit break it can trip in this region let's say for example from 80 second up to for example let's say 200 second any any number okay so let's say if the current has an overloading of 50 percent it will operate or trip between this range between 80 second and 200 second okay range a design range which will differ of course from one circuit breaker to another or according to the company itself okay now what about b c d which are the part for the short circuit so as you can see here if the current starts to increase like this until reaching 3x okay 3x is a current for b here this is the part at 3x after 3x to 5x it will start reaching the short circuit state so as you can see at three second or at 3x the current three times the rated current what will happen is that it if you go upward here it will trip at 0.01 second very very small time 10 millisecond and as the current increase it will start until uh, 5x it the current or the time taken will start decreasing too okay now what about greater than 5x any value greater than 5x it will be almost constant very very small time okay however if we have another type let's say for example if i have a circuit breaker c it will take long time so as you can see c will be like this it will be let's delete this 
So let's say, for example, if I would like to draw the curve for B, it will be like this. Okay, and this range like this. Until reaching this point, it will go down like this. Okay, go down like this. Very small current. Okay, and continue like this. Okay, you can see this curve will be also go down like this. Okay, so we have a range for the um, breaking time. Similar to C, C will be like this. It will continue like this normally till here. And it will continue like this. And then start to go down like this, okay? So its range will be also from 5 to 10 times, okay? D is the same idea. Okay, now if we look at the three or the different types according to IEC, Z, B, C, D, and K, you will see each one has its own range or operating range. So, for example, Z, so the first one or the lowest one is Z. What does it do? It trips very fast at two to three times the rated current of the circuit breaker. It is used for highly sensitive application, for example, in the uh, semiconductor devices, okay? Now, also we'll find that we have also another category called A, okay? And instead of Z, we have also A. A also trips at two to three times the rated current, and it is used for highly sensitive applications. So we have Z and A used for highly sensitive applications. Now, what about B? B will start tripping very fast from three to five times the rated current, okay? Why from three to five? This is the values according to IEC, okay? This is the range of B. It can be, for example, three times, it can be four times, it can be five times, depending on the uh, design itself or the circuit breaker design according to the company itself. This type is used in residential application where we have loads which are resistive such as lighting fixtures, domestic appliances with low surge levels. The third type, which is C, C starts operating from 5 to 10 times the rated current. This type is used for medium in rush currents. So let's say, for example, you have a motor, okay? For example, uh, inductive loads or fluorescent lighting in commercial or industrial application, or you have a refrigerator, or you have uh, air conditioning inside your home, then you should use the C type circuit breaker. Now, why should you use C type circuit breaker? Because at the starting of air, air conditioning system, or at the starting of the refrigerator, there will be a small inrush current. So what does this mean? Let's say, for example, at starting of the refrigerator or the air conditioning system, let's say, for example, the current can reach, for example, 4x rated current, okay? Just at the beginning or at starting, okay? 4x is a rated current. So if you have a C type, it will not operate instantaneously. It will take some time, some time before operating. However, if you have type B or type Z, it will operate instantaneously because 4x is in the range of Z, the rated, uh, the fastest response of Z and fastest response from B, which means at a very, very small time. Okay. So we use this when we have medium in rush current small motors, for example, or air conditioning system, um, refrigerator, and so on. So you will find that in, in your home or um, in buildings, you will find that we use B and C. And most likely you will find C, because if we assume any inrush current, we use C to prevent tripping, okay? Now we have another type, which is K, which it's range between 10 to 14 times the rated current. And it is used for applications with high inrush current, similar to D, which is between 10 and 20, 
rated current this is used for high starting current application so both of them the k k and d both of these two are used for loads with high inrush current for example transformers large generators uh, large uh, uh, motors large uh, transformers uh, x-ray machines all of this have a very high inrush current or a very high starting current so to prevent the tripping of the circuit breaker at the beginning we start using this type of curves d and k as an example if you look at a circuit breaker for example you will find it called c32 this is a miniature circuit breaker with c32 so what does this mean it means that this is a miniature circuit breaker 1p means one pole as you can see it has one pole here this one pole has a short circuit current of 6 kilo ampere can withstand up to rated short circuit current of 6 kilo ampere the type of the curve you can see here c32 means this is the type of curve curve c and with a rated current 32 ampere Another one, C25, this is a three pole or a three phase uh, circuit breaker. So it is a three pole. Again, C means C curve and 25 means 25 ampere. So in this lesson, we talked about the different trip circuit uh, curves or the curves of the trip circuits. And now we understand the difference between curve B, C, uh, D, K and Z.